What the fuck is up, YouTube? I know I look greasy as fuck because I haven't washed my hair. I've bathed, but I haven't washed my hair in ages, and I'm, my hair is all drenched in sweat from me beating my shit. But uh, let's just talk about what's important. The reason my romantic saga three videos have been delayed is because I've had the brilliant idea of updating my OS so that QuickTime can do partial screen recordings and now you don't have to look at my entire desktop when I'm recording my Let's Play videos which is more professional and it's what everyone else does. Everyone else when they're Let's Playing a game the way I do it even though they definitely won't use QuickTime they're gonna spend some money not be cheapskates and use what's its face freps you know, spend that good money or you know download it legally they're, they'll do something but anyway they're going to do a partial recording it's not going to be a full screen recording so I deleted I'd say about 10 gigabytes of rejected Mr. Wonka 7 videos Oh, and don't feel bad because it's the same 20 minute Mr. Wonka 7 video that I've probably and definitely have already uploaded on YouTube. It's just that some del lines are delivered with more emotion, some aren't. Like, for every Mr. Wonka 7 video I've uploaded on YouTube, there are seven nearly identical versions of that video where I say something different that's completely fucked up and horrific and I've noticed looking back at those videos a lot of them are strangely erotic like some of the things I would wear and some of the ways I would wear them and some of the shit I'd say just doesn't make any fucking sense like what the fuck are you guys watching this shit I mean, this ain't Christian. Y'all niggas need some Jesus. But anyway, <laughs> like, I updated this shit, and so far it's looking type Gucci. I mean, it took forever to install and all that shit, but that's to be expected. But then I realize, as I'm hopping on this train, while the interface looks great, I can't use my version of SNES 9X. I had 1.43, I had to get 1.53, and that shit was crazy. Because when I downloaded 1.53 and deleted the old ones, I realized that none of the previous saves work. Meaning that I have to replay Romancing Saga 3 up until this point, which, you know, I didn't really get too far with it because my recording sessions were surprisingly modest. It's, it was like the intro and how many missions? Like uh, six missions because I did like one mission per episode or quests actually. It's a quest because... It, we're not playing Call of Duty here. We're not playing Final Fantasy X-2. They're quests. <laughs> this is a real RPG, guys. But in re-recording this shit, I've decided to play it a little differently. Like, I decided I should capitalize and actually... When I have a party member that I'm not going to use ever again for a specific quest, I'm going to jack your shit. And I was concerned about that because I know in Romancing Saga 3 there's a greed counter. And certain things you do will increase that greed counter which may bar you from some quests. You know, ban you from life from them like Donald Sterling. And I didn't want that for myself, but... Looking shit up for Romancing Saga 3 is extremely difficult. Because not a lot of people have played it. And to top it all off, it's a very non-linear game. So I want to know, like, 
should I still like jack each temporary character characters like stuff? Cause I know a lot of people do that for Saga Frontier. But this game isn't Saga Frontier. This is Romancing Saga 3, bitch. Y'all better recognize. I just got past the intro phase. I would have gone through the intro phase a lot sooner, but... I've had a weird sleeping pattern that I've been trying to correct because... I need to show up for a few more events tomorrow. And yesterday was a crazy day, like... I thought I was going to die yesterday, well, not really, but it felt like it, because the day before, yesterday, I had eaten a steak, and it was a raw-ass steak. My mother didn't notice, because of the fluorescent lights, but there was still blood rising on the steak. The steak was marinated in blood and I've taken a few bites out of it and inside it was just like non-stop pink like I know some people like their stuff a little undercooked but that wasn't cooked at all. It smelled weird and for those 21 hours I tasted nothing but blood. Anytime I don't eat any I taste something really nasty and curse Cynogenic or toxic in any way. I don't eat for a really long time. The last time this happened was in 2008. Uh, sometime around like a Christmas party. I had like some rice and tomatoes. And the tomatoes were rotten as fuck because the church was handing them out. And you know, Protestant churches are... Can be a little ghetto sometimes depending on which community you go to. And because of that... I hadn't eaten in 36 hours that day in 2008. But what I finally ate was some McDonald's like fish filet bullshit that no one in their right mind would like, but I was somewhat desperate for food. And in this case, I hadn't eaten for 21 hours but I hadn't slept for that time either because I was trying to correct for my sleeping pattern. And that's how I correct for it. You know, by vamping. And I felt like I was dying. I, I felt like, oh my gosh, the ulcers were happening. There was nothing on the fridge except for the leftovers that my mother was insisting on me eating. And I'm thinking, nah, man. So I'm thinking, fuck it. I look for something. There's one thing, and it's my little brother's, like, leftover Thai food. Because he really... They always get him the same thing in for Thai food. That pad thai with chicken. And... I really... I like my stuff better, but... I decided to microwave it since he doesn't really eat anything that isn't burgers and peanut butter or breakfast cereal and by breakfast cereal there's only one cereal he really likes and that's cinnamon toast crunch so in other words uh, that's all he eats so I decided fuck it I'm gonna eat this shit I was trying to stuff as much of that down but my body hadn't reckon it hasn't registered I've been eating yet so <laughs> it was killing itself I was feeling the ulcer still coming even though I was digesting the food and I'm thinking, come on buddy, do your thing. And then I felt better and then I knocked out almost immediately. <laughs> that was ridiculous, like, shit. I was having trouble moving my body and shit, but let's, for, let's not talk about how dumb some of my life decisions are and how badly I've not taken care of myself these past few days. Let's just talk about the fact that I'm about to body this LP. Like, you guys don't even know. Mr. Wonka 7 is going to body Romancing Saga 3rd. Y'all niggas better believe it. 
anyways, this has been your boy, Mr. Wonka7, wonka uh, the legendary David Fabre, the Uptown Menace, telling you guys once again, suck my dick and respect the king. Those are two imperatives. Yo, yo. For some reason, like, the first... The first day I updated my OS, my cursor was working perfectly for the lo- first time in a very long time. Oh shit, that scared, scared the living fuck out of me. I thought that there was like a... There was like a... I have the video game on pause right now. I'm looking down and I saw like the 16-bit like generic JRPG guy with an open torso vest and a hat. I'm thinking, is that in my room? Did I buy that from my room? Am I a spoony one? I got I got scared for my second. But anyway, those are two imperatives. Y'all better believe it. My cursor is crazy again. In fact, it's even worse because of the way Maverick works as opposed to Snow Leopard. That's right, I didn't even go to Mountain Lion. I went straight to Maverick, so... Suck my dick again.